Chronic Lyme disease can be a very frustrating medical situation to deal with. Not only is it not widely recognized or accepted by the medical community as a whole, but in addition, the widespread effects that it has on a person's body from the standpoint of their immune system, from the standpoint of direct injury to tissue and co-infections and the central nervous system effects can be so devastating to a patient and even more so when they, they find it difficult just to find a doctor who really understands what they're going through. When we're dealing with Lyme disease, chronic Lyme disease, we're dealing with a very difficult infectious process where an intracellular organism has caused a protective mechanism such as a biofilm to develop to where the immune system recognizes that there is a problem but it doesn't have the capability to break down that biofilm to directly have a response and effect. As that ongoing immune reaction uh, continues to occur, the body develops an autoimmune response and that autoimmune response can be felt widespread through the endocrine system, the nervous system, the vascular system, throughout the entire body. The focus of our therapies are to really understand where you're at in your particular process from the standpoint of what are we dealing with as far as particular organisms or co-infections? What are we dealing with from the standpoint of your innate immune system's ability to deal with these problems and some of the autoimmune issues that have occurred as a response to this chronic infection? Being able to do genetic testing to understand what predisposing factors you might have that limit your normal body's ability to have phase one and phase two detoxification are essential for understanding a good healing process. Being able to understand your current micronutrient status and, and your ability to carry to have a, a good oxidative process are also essential to success with stem cell therapies. So with something as complex as Lyme disease, it's not as simple as just let's give the stem cells and, and let them do their job and everybody's going to be fine. No, you have to specify that therapy and you have to make it specific for that patient's particular circumstances, their particular disease process, the areas that are being affected, and in addition, their underlying genetic predispositions that may cause them to have delayed healing response or to not get as good a response from stem cells. In our center, we're, only, we're using the latest techniques, the latest technology to ensure that we're not only providing you the best benefit from the standpoint of understanding your Lyme process, but also providing you the best chance of being able to allow those stem cells to have the greatest effect by being able to really understand how to use stem cells correctly for this disease process. We've taken the time to really listen to our patients, to understand what they're going through, and to understand what factors we can help them to change to improve the ability of stem cells to really make a tremendous difference in their lives. We're happy to talk to you. We understand the Lyme disease. We understand what you're going through, and we're here to help.